Hi, and welcome to this video where I will show you how to set up GitHub code spaces on your machine. So the only requirement here is to have a browser uh, to run GitHub code spaces because your browser can run VS code on the browser itself. So you don't, you don't actually need VS code. Uh, but if you prefer, then you can have VS code installed. And uh, if you have VS code installed, then all you'll need is a uh, extension for GitHub code spaces. Uh, I'll just show you what, they, what that extension looks like. So here I have a, um, a new VS code window. And uh, the extension that you will need is called GitHub code spaces. You can see it right over here, this one. And if you install it, uh, then you'll have to just uh, assign it into your GitHub account and you should be done. Once you have that set up, uh, you will need to go to your repository uh, for, for your, the fork of the IV repository that you have. If you don't know how to create a fork, then all you need to do is go to the repository, press the fork button, and it will make a fork for you. I don't need to do that because I already have a fork which is right here. So I'll go into my fork. <clears throat> Once you have your fork and you have updated your fork, you need to go to this code button here and go to the code spaces tab. There's the local tab, which you can you normally use to clone the repo locally on your machine. Or you can go to code spaces. Here, you have just have to click on the create code spaces on code space on master branch. So what this will do is it will take the master branch, the Docker file on the master branch, and it will build a container using that Docker file image. And that's all. Uh, this process can take up to 10 to 15 minutes. You can just look at the logs while it's happening to see uh, what it's doing, all the packages that it's downloading to set up your code for you. Um, as I said, this is quite a long process. It can take about 10 minutes. So I'll see you after that. Fine. So we're back now and uh, you should now be seeing that once it has built the container, it will just start configuring code space and open up this window. This is basically Visual Studio Code in your browser. And this is where most of your stuff is done already. This is pretty much what you need. Uh, but if you do want to run it in VS Code right now, all you have to do is go to these this tab, the three lines here, and open in VS Code desktop. Just, just click on that. And it will open it up in VS Code. And yeah, now you can run everything inside VS Code, right? And uh, at this point, we come to the next steps. The next step being um, that how can you open an existing code space? Right now, we built a code space and it opened up in the browser and VS Code. But how do you open it up once you've already had it? So let me just let me just close this down right here. Okay, let me just uh, close this. Right, I'll 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 close this one. So you know what? I'll just make a new tab here. I'll close this one as well. So here you have a couple of options. In fact, you have three options here. One is you go to your fork again, you go to code, code spaces, and you can just see your uh, code space right here, which is Psychic Umbrella in my case. You click on it, it'll open up the code space again, it'll set it up. Since you've already built it, it will not really spend time building it, it'll just open up the VS Code screen right here. Now there's one way. One more way is that you can just go here. Do you see this? IV code spaces. You can click on this. It will open up the same thing inside VS Code. That's the second way. The third way is to just go to your uh, remote connection right here. Open a remote window, go down, connect to code space, click on Psychic Umbrella in that case. And you've got it open right here. So there are three different ways that you can open code spaces. So what's next now? The next step is to set up testing. Well, you've not in code and everything, but you need to test it, right? And even if you know how to write the test code, how do you run by test on VS Code or code space in general? Um, if you've been using 
PyCharm and Docker, then you know that you can just run. It, it has been pre-configured. You don't really have to do anything to run the test there. You just have to click the play button and it'll uh, do the test for you. Um, but in code spaces or if you're using VS Code with Docker, you will have to uh, configure the Python test, the PyTest file. So let me just go to the uh, VS Code right here, right? You have it here. So right now, as you can see, uh, it's not showing me uh, the play button to test this function. Uh, let, let's take this function. Yeah, dev test lint space, right? Uh, we don't have any way of testing this. There's no play button here. Uh, or even here, this 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 just compiles the whole file and does the code itself, right? What you do is you need to go to this plus like button over here, which says testing. Go here, you click on configure Python tests. You click on PyTest because that's what we're using. And then you give it IV tests because that is where all your tests are. At least for IV in this case, that is where all the tests are. Um, so it'll take a little bit of time. It will start configuring it. Uh, it will find where the tests are. And we'll just start showing the test once it's, once it's done loading. You get this error that says PyTest discovery error. And um, basically, if you want to solve, to fix this error, as it says, you have to uh, make changes in the array API test module, right? So where is this? Uh, you go to Explorer, you go to IV test, you go to test array API, you go to array API tests, and then you have to go to the array module dot by. You have to make changes to two lines here. The first line is over here. This is import IV as array module, right? And then array module dot set backend. Okay. Right? This is all you have to do. Once you've done this, you go back to testing uh, and press reload. It should reload and show you all the tests there are. Let me just go back to test lens space. So we can uh, see how it's working, right? Uh, it'll, it'll take a little bit of time. Yeah, after make changes, you'll see this IV, IV tests. And uh, from here, you can just go to whatever test that you want to uh, check. It's, it's, uh, we are on the test creations folder. So let, let's just try this over here. Test creation. Let's do test lens space right here. Uh, let's try to run it. And uh, we'll run the test. And it should show up in the output section shortly. As you can see, it has started running the tests. Um, yep. There we have it. The test has passed. Uh, yeah, there we have it. That is all you need to do to set up code spaces for yourself on your machine. You can even use this in VS Code or you can run it in browser as it is. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it. So thank you uh, for watching this video. Hopefully uh, it helped you to set up code spaces on your machine. And goodbye.